guys, it's Rose and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today, as you can see by the title, we are making Buddha bowls, guys. We are making Buddha bowls. We are making three different kinds of Buddha bowls and I'm so excited to show you guys because they are all super delicious and they're also very versatile and um, I think you will find this video very helpful. This video is also very kindly sponsored by Care Of, so I'll be talking about them a little bit later on in this video. And as always guys, the written recipes will be available in a blog post, of course, and that's going to be linked down below. So don't forget to check that out. And without further ado, let's get started with Buddha bowl number one. First, we are going to be making a sushi bowl, which basically is a Buddha bowl as well. I'm first taking this julienne peeler, which is a super easy way to cut your carrots and other vegetables julienne style. I just got it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. Then I'm going to take a large serving bowl and lay out a bed of fresh baby spinach. And in a smaller bowl, I'm adding in one cup of cooked short grain brown rice and mixing in one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one pinch of salt, and one pinch of sugar. Let's mix that well and add into the bowl. And I'm also going to add the carrots in there as well. I also wanted to make a quick coleslaw to go with this, so I'm just taking that same mixing bowl that we used and adding in some coleslaw mix and also adding in some Dijon mustard and a little bit of vegan mayo. And we're gonna mix that well. And then we're also going to add that to our bowl. Next, I'm taking this can of Hearts of Palm, which in my opinion has a bit of a fishy taste. Maybe I'm crazy, maybe you guys agree, I don't know. Either way, I'm gonna chop up the uh, Hearts of Palm into smaller chunks, and I'm gonna add that into our little bowl. And then I'm gonna also add in a little bit of vegan mayo as well. By the way guys, all of the ingredients that I'm using are pretty much completely optional. I'm just giving you some ideas for inspiration, but feel free to go wild and do whatever you want with whatever you want to add into your Buddha bowls. Next, I'm going to prepare some nori. So all I'm doing is cutting up half a sheet of nori into like smaller pieces just to garnish my bowl with. And this is just gonna give our bowl that kind of sushi taste, you know what I mean? And I don't know why I lost this footage, but I also added in some edamame beans into the bowl as well. And that's gonna be our protein. And then I'm gonna add in some soy sauce, garnish with the nori sheets, and also add in some sesame seeds as well. And there is our beautiful sushi bowl. Oh my God, guys, come on, it's so good. Look at this. Feel free to add other ingredients like I mentioned before. And um, if you want, you can always swap out the rice for quinoa or any other type of grain, swap out the edamame beans with tofu or tempeh. I mean, do whatever you want, enjoy. So doesn't that look delicious, guys? I know, I know. So before we move on to recipe number two, I have a little message from our sponsor, which is Care Of. So Care Of, you guys, is a vitamins and supplements company that specializes in creating a customized box of vitamins just for you and then sending them straight to your door so you don't have to worry about a thing. It's super easy and simple to start. All you have to do is take a five minute quiz, which is linked down below, and that quiz will ask you about your lifestyle, your health goals, your dietary preferences, all of those things and once you're done that five minute quiz it just gives you a nice list of suggestions of vitamins and supplements that you might want to consider taking and then you can pick and choose which ones you think would be right for you and then all you have to do is order and then they send you this lovely box every single month filled with your monthly supply of vitamins and then in each box you have a nice little daily pack that you can take and you don't have to think about it. All you need is in here, guys, okay? So all you need is in here. The daily packs also contain cute little challenges and little facts. Let's see, like this one is today's challenge. Unscrambled this word. It's fizzy and fermented. Oh, kombucha. So yeah, it looks like that. And then sometimes they'll give you like random facts. So it's a cute little thing to uh, open up every single day. I take mine every day. I've been taking it for a long, long time, you guys. So in my personal daily pack, I've got vitamin B12, of course. I have some veggie omega with EPA and DHA, magnesium supporting my muscle function and healthy bones, cranberry for my urinary tract health, and a probiotic blend for a healthy gut and digestive system. 
So I know it's the new year, so we are all taking care of ourselves. We're trying to be a little bit more, you know, aware. We're trying to be more physically healthy. We're also trying to be more mentally healthy. So I think this is the perfect time to check out Care Of. There's something really kind of satisfying about doing little tasks each day, keeping a routine to take care of myself every day, such as drinking enough water, making my bed, and also taking my vitamins, okay? Those are things I do take quite quite seriously, and even though they seem like really small tasks, it gives you a sense of accomplishment every single day, and I really love that. So guys, don't forget to check out Care Of. All you have to do is take that five minute quiz, and then you can get 50% off your first order using the code VEGAN50. Yes, 50% off your first order. Link is all down below, information is down below. And also guys, don't forget that these little packets are actually compostable, so don't forget to compost these. The instructions on composting is right here. It's very, very simple, very easy. Don't don't worry, okay? Uh, really easy to compost so that you are not creating unnecessary waste, okay? So thank you so much to Kara for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go on to recipe number two. Our second recipe is going to be a hearty barley bowl. So first, I'm going to cook up some barley according to the instructions on the package. And of course, feel free to swap out the barley for something else if you wish. So while the barley is cooking, I'm going to make my vegan spam slash homemade smoked tofu recipe. And I already have a video on this, so I'm not gonna show you guys the whole process here. But if you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. I'll link the recipe down below, it's so good. So first, I have to marinate the tofu for a little bit, so let's move on to the next step while the tofu is marinating. Next up is to peel and chop up some sweet potato into chunks and I'm going to prepare them on a baking sheet. I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil and just massage that in and I'm going to let that sit for a bit because I just want to bake these with the smoked tofu on the same sheet. So we're still waiting for the tofu to marinate. Next, I'm going to soften half a cup of cashews for our dressing by placing them in a small pot with plenty of water and boiling it for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then for our main vegetable, we're gonna prep some kale. So I'm taking a bunch of chopped kale and adding into a large mixing bowl along with some lemon juice. And I'm gonna roughly massage it. And let's also add in some nutritional yeast and salt for some additional flavor. You can add some oil as well if you would like, but I just decided not to. At this point, you might want to preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So once the cashews have softened, we're gonna make our cashew sauce, and this is so good, you guys. Take notes, okay? So into a blender, we're gonna add in three quarter cup of water, along with half a tablespoon of garlic powder, half a tablespoon of onion powder, half a tablespoon of miso paste, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, one tablespoon of lemon juice, and let's also add in the softened cashews. And then what you wanna do, guys, is just blend this up until it is nice and smooth. It might take a little bit of patience, and once it's done, it's gonna be smooth, delicious, savory, and once I have that final sauce, I'm just gonna place into a container so I can leave it in the fridge and enjoy throughout the week. At this point, my tofu should be well marinated, so I'm gonna place them on the baking sheet next to the sweet potato, and we're gonna bake these at 375 degrees for 15 minutes on one side. So my smoked tofu turned out a little bit lighter in color than my original recipe video. I think it's because of the soy sauce I used. It's different from the original one I used. So don't freak out if yours is a different color. It still tastes great, okay? I promise. So yeah, after the 15 minutes, you wanna take it out of the oven and you're gonna flip over the tofu pieces to the other side. Also give that sweet potato a nice little toss. And then I'm gonna make a little room and add that kale. And we're gonna bake it for another 15 minutes or so or until the sweet potatoes are cooked. All right, now let's finally assemble. So we're gonna add the cooked barley into a nice bowl. And then we're also gonna add some kale, also the sweet potato pieces, and of course that beautiful vegan spam slash smoked tofu. And I'm also gonna to top with some avocado slices as well, because why not? And then we're also gonna to top with some pumpkin seeds, and of course that delicious cashew dressing and there it is guys this is so good super comforting and full of so many different flavors and i know guys this one's a little bit more labor intensive than you would like but remember that this is also great for meal prepping this one recipe can make you at least three or four meals or so and i like to portion them out like so 
and keep the sauce separate so I can drizzle the sauce on top later. So yeah, this is great for meal prepping. Feel free to make like more if you want, if you want to make more meals and um, yeah, enjoy them throughout the week. This is so good, guys. Highly recommend. All right, my beautiful friends, last but not least, of course, I had to do a soba noodle bowl. I mean, come on, guys. Did you expect anything else? I am obsessed, okay? So this one's going to be a lot quicker and easier than the other one. So first, let's cook up our soba noodles, aka buckwheat noodles, according to instructions. These only take about four to five minutes to cook, so it's going to be super quick. So while that's cooking, let's chop up one head of baby bok choy into thin pieces. And I'm gonna eat it fresh. And trust me guys, fresh baby bok choy is so good. And I'm also gonna chop up one tomato as well as a quarter of a bell pepper into thin slices. And we're also gonna throw in some of those carrots that I had left over from the sushi bowl, cause why not? Then into a small bowl, let's mix together our sauce. First, let's do one tablespoon of gochujang. This is also known as Korean red pepper paste. Yes, it's spicy. Yes, it's delicious. If you don't like spicy, I would suggest adding in a little bit more soy sauce, which we will do later. So after that, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of maple syrup or agave nectar. And I like to mix this up right after this so that we can thin out the gochujang. All right, now we can add in our vinegar. So we're gonna add in one tablespoon of vinegar. You can use white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, rice vinegar, the choice is yours. All right, and then we're gonna also add in half a tablespoon of soy sauce. And like I mentioned, if you're gonna omit the uh, gochujang, then add in just a little bit more soy sauce. Um, or I think that cashew dressing that we made in the last recipe would actually go really well with soba noodles as well. So that's another option for you if you don't like spicy. And once the noodles are cooked, let's drain and rinse thoroughly in cold water, okay? So we want the noodles cold. And then we're gonna place into a large serving bowl and let's add in some of the sauce and mix as well. We're gonna add in most of that sauce, but we're gonna save a little bit to drizzle later. And guys, are you ready to make some art? Yes, guys, let's assemble our bowl. We're gonna add in the baby bok choy along with the carrots, tomatoes, peppers and then let's also add in some chickpeas for our protein and this part is optional but i wanted to also add in some extra soft tofu this is very very soft tofu and i love it so so much so we're going to add in a little bit of that and then we're going to just drizzle on the rest of that sauce whatever i have left over which looks like it's not a lot but we're going to drizzle that on top of everything and then on top of that tofu, I'm just gonna add a nice little drizzle of soy sauce. And I think sesame oil would also go really well as well. And then I'm gonna garnish this bowl with some alfalfa sprouts, some sunflower seeds, and of course, some chopped green onions. And guys, I think I am pretty much going to stop calling myself a YouTuber and just call myself an artist. Because let's be honest, this is art okay this is delicious art i'm obsessed i hope you guys try this out it is so so good and so healthy and amazing all right guys so that is it for my three bootable recipes now don't forget guys these are super versatile you can do whatever you want don't worry about following these to the t these are simply ideas and you can always mix and match different things add in your own favorite protein add in your you know favorite grains, like do whatever you want, okay? These are simply guidelines and ideas and they're all delicious, but you can of course make them your own. And if you guys want my tahini dressing recipe, which I am obsessed with, which I seriously use in probably most of my Buddha bowls, to be honest, uh, I actually have a free guide, free vegan sauces guide. It's kind of like a free mini ebook and I have that available on my website. I'll link the details down below so you guys can check that out and grab yourself a free sauces guide, which also contains five other recipes to uh, go with the sauces as well and yeah thank you so much to care of for sponsoring today's video don't forget to check them out you guys link is down below for you to get your five minute quiz done and then use the code vegan 50 to get 50% off your first order and if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye